Hey Siri, check my health. He is about to get all kinds of preventative health information by simply taking a selfie video. To pick up the blood flow information from different parts of my face. Turns out that because our facial skin is translucent, the camera can use transdermal optical imaging. Once the light reaches the hemoglobin, then it bounces back out. And then this camera here uh, and the, uh, uh, the video camera can pick up the blood flow information up and down from the lights. To actually see and then analyze our blood flow in our face. Then using the blood flow signal, then we compute various kind of health indexes such as heart rate, breathing, blood pressure, all sorts of other things. Okay, so... Yeah, so um, it cannot okay. talk though, unfortunately. Right, okay. Yeah, okay. It can tell you your systolic and diastolic blood pressure. Your blood pressure is 126, so this is normal, good. Okay. And, uh, and uh, diastolic is 78, that's good, it's all green. But other important preventative health information as well, things like vascular capacity. Apparently you don't smoke, right? I do not smoke. So I have 20-year-old vascular and, system. Yeah, so, and which is good at this moment. Right. Okay. Body mass index and your cardiac workload. Tricord uh, uh, from uh, uh, Star Trek is, of course, one of our inspirations. So I, I hope in the near, very, very near future, we can you know, use our smartphones to learn a lot about ourselves. Well, because of those Health Canada approvals, it could take up to two years before the full app is released. But if you would like to give the basic one a try, you can do so by going to our website, citynews.ca slash extras. In Toronto, Audra Brown, City News.